Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another exclusive video for Priority Hauling Junk Removal. We got a customer that has some furniture in her basement that she wants to have removed. It's, I want to say it's a sleeper sofa in her basement, and there's some other smaller items in the basement, such as a foot pedal exercise bike. And on the front porch, there's an actual bench. She stated that one day her husband came home and sat on a bench and he proceeded to lean back and then that's when they heard a crack. So the bench core for the back support is giving way. But she said it was a very old bench that they really haven't used and you know, it just happened that they wanted to try it out. They're just gonna go ahead and toss it away. So, but yeah, that's pretty much the main items that we're gonna cover for this particular video. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna bring my nephew with me to do this particular jump removal. And I'm also going to see if he can record a video while I actually perform the junk removal service. So uh, stay tuned and definitely don't forget guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please be kind to hit the subscribe button and definitely don't forget to hit the notification. So that way YouTube will send you an alert notification for the next time that I drop a YouTube content to my channel. So uh, definitely don't forget to hit that notification button. Let's go ahead and take a look at this job. I'll see you guys when I get to the location. Stay tuned. All right, guys, got my nest, got a couch. All right, so if you can strap this, I think just a uh, ear record. That way we can take it up the hill. Show them the little hill that we gotta go up. So that's the hill. Trying to make sure this thing is nice and steady. Take it up to here. All right, we got the two chairs. Now we just need to grab these two chairs here. Huh? You gonna take the pillows off first? Uh, nah. We 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 can leave it on. That was a big couch. That was a big, big couch. Uh, for the time being, we'll just throw it on there. And then when we get to the next job, then uh, we'll figure out exactly like how to set this thing back up. Another chair, uh, I believe on the front porch. So we just gotta grab that. Making progress, guys, making progress. This thing right here, ooh, easy to get up the homes, but hard to get up the hill. Well, not hard, but ooh, that was something.
item. guys that is it for this stuff we got a chair exercise equipment and some rocking chairs to haul to the landfill all right guys so uh right now me and my nephew were on our way to our next location definitely appreciate everyone watching this video if you are not a subscriber of my channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button but anyway i'm gonna enjoy enjoy the breeze enjoy these steep hills golly i tell you this this is like the perfect location if you got like a uh sports car and you want to hit some you know want to hit some uh corners when you go up the hill this is perfect this is perfect but with a big trailer oh my gosh <laughs> goodness gracious but all right guys chit chat with you guys later peace all right guys this is the other site location we got garage cleanup garage cleanup is almost completed So we just gotta throw the rest of the stuff up in here. I'm uh, I'm gonna tarp everything down so that way when we hit the highway, uh, none of this stuff will blow off. It's always good to have an oversized tarp. All right, let's, yeah, put it put it right there. gonna secure that all right so yeah we gotta put that on and then guys we got this uh basketball hoop but all right let's go ahead and uh get this bad boy here and then we can use that broom and stuff to sweep up real quick now. Oh, here's a broom. Let's just sweep this up real quick. We like to I like to leave my customer's location looking clean. Okay. So we'll be back, guys, in a few. We're gonna get this uh, pile cleaned up. That thing is. I tracked over this, kicking up a lot of, a lot of dirt. Oh, dirt. oh, it's that thing that's making that noise. The actual. Uh... All right. The tracks. That thing is a big beast right there. All right, guys. So get back with you guys when we uh when we get close to uh loading up.
think would probably load like right here to the left. But we'll see. We will see. storm coming. Nope, just went. But uh, you guys kind of Alright, so we got this load dropped off now we just got to go make a run to the next load. Six 
extremely windy. So that's this right here is the pile of trash that we uh, delivered. So uh, yeah, it's time to go. We went to the customer's location. We picked up a sofa out of the basement. By the time I actually got to recording the video, I already had the sofa moved outside of the basement. So I definitely do apologize for starting a video too short. <laughs> man, oh man, it was uh, it was a little task. It was definitely a little task trying to get that sofa out the basement at first, just eyesight. But, you know, I still attempted to get it out the door and that's when I identified, okay? Tilt the uh, couch, swing it uh, at an angle and just shimmy it outside the door. Let's see, uh, she had the exercise bike, which is pretty decent. Um, one thing a lot of people aren't quite familiar with is when it comes to exercise equipment, purchasing exercise equipment for home is very expensive, okay? Pedal bike in general, you could probably be looking at 250, the same thing with a treadmill, 300 to $400 for a treadmill. The true problem comes is when you want to sell that item. Like, say for instance, you no longer desire a treadmill at your home and you paid $400 for it. Trying to find somebody to even buy it for $200 is going to be a long process. Because the thing is, it's very convenient for people to go to the gym to work out versus working out at home. Yeah, you're gonna be hyped to do it because you got new equipment, but eventually that hype runs down and you find yourself less motivated at home because you got other distractions going on. So you'll find yourself going to the gym because you don't have those distractions at home to distract you from your exercise. And plus, you know, you'll find people to talk to, people that you do know, that you don't know. Um, so you pair up and, you know, find some motivated buddies to exercise. Then you also got trainers there. It's different type of amenities that gyms provide versus at home. So if you do purchase gym equipment for home, just keep in mind that you may end up calling for junk removal service to remove that gym equipment. And they may charge you like 100 to 200 or maybe more depending on the equipment size and if they need to break it down, definitely do keep that in mind. And also uh, gym equipment, when it comes to scrap metal, it's really not worth as you paid, such as you paid $400 for a treadmill. If somebody takes that to a scrap metal place, they may only get $2, $5. Now let's say that they really know what they're doing. They break everything down from material to wires. They may get $20 or 35 if they're pushing it. Definitely not 400. Do understand that value is only there when it comes to who's buying equipment from the manufacturer. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please be kind to hit the subscribe button and definitely don't forget to hit the notification button. If you're in a Baltimore, Maryland area and you need junk removal service, please be sure to contact Priority Hauling Junk Removal and I will be at your service. On that note, everyone, stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.